Hey guys, Sable IV GC, back again with some more crazy climbing action. And today we're going to continue using the Scolipede Superior team featured in the last episode. Hopefully we can get Superior some more action today, it didn't really see too much play last time. So we're just going to jump right into this one, see what we can find. We got O King with the cool Dialga team here. Issue right away I can see is going to be that Smeargle, because Smeargle is just a nuisance in this game and I really don't like it. But it is what it is and we're going to have to find a way to beat it. So, uh, first glance at his team, I think Scizor could actually make an appearance here just for that Tapu Lele. Uh, but I think Scolipede is probably just a better option. So I'm actually going to go Scolipede Kyogre. See if I can do some big damage to that uh, Smeargle before it can do any attack. Uh, Groudon will come in. Um, I'm kind of liking Scizor still because Incineroar doesn't really make sense. Although I can't eat a Psychic from Layla. I think because of that, I bring Incineroar. Yeah, I will. We're gonna wait and see what he does. Okay, so he's gonna lead Dialga Incineroar versus Skolipede Kyogre. What scares me here is he probably fakes out something like Kyogre and goes for Trick Room. So I'm just going to hard swap into Incineroar, and if he lets me get a Water Spout off, I think that just does a lot of damage, so I'm going to give it a shot. He's not going to, of course. And are we going to see the Trick Room? We do see the Trick Room. I'm going to knock off this Dialga and click Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse is just a safe play for me here, because it's going to do a lot of damage to whatever he does here. So Incineroar takes that. Origin Pulse actually comes up. I miss Dialga. I do pick up Incineroar though, which is very nice. And that was surprisingly an insanely fast Incineroar, considering my Kyogre understood that. Um, we are going to see a Moongus here, which kind of scares me a little bit. He probably just spores Kyogre and lets Incineroar die to this Orisphere. So if I'm in center, I'm gonna knock off before I die because I don't want to take damage on anything else. Actually, I can swap into school if you could eat that and I'll just click Origin Pulse. Grass not a movie, it does do 50% to me. There's an Aura Sphere, right into school if you perfect. Origin Pulse does come off, does miss a Dialga again. This is a bit of a pain. Um, I'm gonna Poison Jeff. Actually, I'm gonna Sword Jeff. And swap into it soon and then next turn I'll protect and hopefully be able to get the Baton Pass off into Ice Beam into Skullipede? It lives. And hopefully be able to get a Baton Pass off into Groudon and that from that point should sweep the game. Uh, we'll go protect. And I will... Just knock off the Alga here, it doesn't really matter. It's next turn that matters and I'm burned to sleep anyways. Yeah, issue here is he is probably just going to Trick Room again. So I'll go Baton Pass and I will Flare Blitz because if I wake up, protecting Amoongus though is interesting. Because if I wake up with Groudon, or with Incineroar, sorry, I can kill the Amoongus. But he does protect you. I am still asleep and we do see another Trick Room. I'm going to protect and sack off Skullfee so I can come back in and get a fake out off. I think that's my best option. If I could just stay out of Trick Room, this game would be over, but I can't seem to do it. Spore going into Groudon, into the Protect, or Spear does somehow not kill Skullipede. So, for some reason we still have a Skullipede on the field. I'm just going to take the Spore, I think. Yeah, I'll just take the Spore here. Go for a Poison Jab into Amoongus. He might just double into Groudon as well, which could leave Skullipede once again on the field. The issue is at some point I am going to need to hit this Dialga. There's the Spore under Groudon. Dialga or Sphere does kill Scolipede. Okay. I'll go into Incineroar and hopefully wake up. I mean, yeah, this Trick Room is just a nuisance to this team. Go people in case I wake up and fake out Amoongus. Simple as that. Can I double wake up? Come on Incineroar. Come on. I do wake up with Incineroar at least, so that's something. There's a fake out into Amoongus, and Effect Spore Amoongus, that's actually very, very interesting. 
leaves the grout on the loan and I do wake up P-Blades, double connects which is beautiful and he's only got one Pokemon left. What I can only assume would be that Tapu Lele or Kyogre. It is indeed that Kyogre. With one turn of Trick Room left, I protect my Groudon. And I'll click Thunder in case he lets me get that off, or in case I'm slower with my Kyogre. He does click Origin Pulse. Kyogre should live that. I do. Thunder coming off. At just shy of the knockout. I'm gonna go Fire Punch with Groudon, because at plus two it'll kill. And we all know my Kyogre is actually faster anyway, so even if it doesn't, Thunder will pick it up. And I don't want to miss P-Blade, because that would just be scary. So we do pick up a win, jumping our rating up to 12-10. So we're actually moving our way up, almost into what I would say is normal range. But I really want to feature Superior, but I can't seem to do it, and I don't know why. Actually, it might make an appearance right here. Yeah, I think I can force it into this game. Just for the sake of the video, I'm going to force it into this game, I think. Yeah, I'll leave Superior, why not? Superior and Scolopee, Groudon in the back with probably Incineroar, I think. It just rounds this out, helps against that Ferrothorn. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Incineroar. Could make a case for Scizor here, but if I bring Scizor, I can't afford to bring Superior, and I wanna make Superior the star of this battle, so let's make it happen. Superior, Scolopee. Drills is up, attack is up on Superior. Balloon Incineroar. We are going to see if I had to guess a fake out into Superior. We have a fake out into Superior. Uh, so I'll switch into, I can't really switch into Incineroar. I'll go hard into Groudon, I guess. And I'll sort of dance. Fake out into Groudon, Water Spout. Ice Beam, interesting. We have Groudon. I'm gonna switch back out into Superior. And I'm gonna Swords Dance again from Skullfee. See if he'll let me get that off. Skull goes into Superior, takes it. Knock off into Skullfee, that's just fine by me. So what I'm going to do right here is I can simply Leaf Storm into Kyogre and Baton Pass into Groudon. There's a Protect on Kyogre, I'm okay with that. Baton Pass into Groudon. He should click Flare Blitz into Superior. And he does. But, I mean at this point, Incineroar comes in. I fake out his Incineroar and click P-Blade, that'll burn off the balloon, or pop the balloon, if you will. And press his blade should pick up both knockouts here, and then we'll see what he has in the back. Cox Crook could be an issue, even if he switches out Kyogre, could be a bit of an issue. We'll see what he does here. There's the fake out, does pop that balloon. Come on, Groudon, hit your P-Blade. Does double connect, does double kill. Perfect, and I'm living on 2% HP after that life orb. If he has Toxic Croak, it's gonna be an issue because of Faint. Or even Smeargle with Fake Out could be an issue. There's Toxic Croak. He's got Fake Out as well. I actually, I, I honestly have no way to shut down this Xerneas if it tries to set up. I'm gonna click Flare Blitz into Toxic Croak, because Incineroar is not the threat. And I'll click P-Blades if he lets me get it here. I don't think he will, but it's worth a shot. He does protect Toxicroak. He does let me get this plus two P-Blades up and kill Xerneas, which is very surprising. I don't think that was his optimal play. I think if he simply fakes out Groudon and just sets up with Xerneas, he wins that game. But we take these wins, and with that, I just put Tom, uh Poison Jab and Flare Blitz into Toxicroak for the kill here. There's nothing he can really do. Cross Chop, actually, if that would pick me up, it could have been an interesting finish. But it doesn't, and Flare Blitz will finish off Toxicroak for our second win of the day. Still haven't really got to see Superior do too much. But we'll go into one more. Hopefully Superior can do something in this game. And Kimmy Char 001. Only five mons, but that Mewtwo is really, really scary. I'm going to bring Superior, because it is fantastic in this game. Superior Scolopee, 
safety, you should be scared to go if you allow the superior to do work. Incinero in the back, and Groudon, I guess. Just because it, with the Scolipede, it just synergizes so well. I could have made a case for Lele. Uh, sorry, not Lele. For the Kyogre, but he's got the Ludicolo and I want to stay away from that. Actually, seeing Lele's, Lele's ability go off first, it does reveal it has Choice Scarf. So with Scolipede, I am just going to simply Poison Jab into it, forcing him to actually double into Scolipede, which will allow Superior to get a Leaf Storm. He does give me a free Leaf Storm into Mewtwo. It does side shock, he's so scared of Superior right now. Poison Jab picks up uh, Tapu Lele there, and Aura Spear into Superior again. Well, there you have it. People are scared of Superior and not Scolipede. We're going to bring in Incineroar here. Just in case he has that Groudon, I'll get the Intimidate off. He does have Groudon. I will get the Intimidate off, which is perfect. I can't fake out here, so that doesn't really do too much. I'm going to knock off into Mewtwo. And I'm just going to... I think I'll Sword Dance here. He does protect Mewtwo, which is perfect for me. Gets the Sword Dance off. Fire Punch Groudon. Don't burn me. Okay, good. No burn. At plus 2 speed, it'll allow me to swap hard into Groudon with Baton Pass. And once again, I'll just go for another knockoff. He'll probably Focus Blast me. But I'm okay with that. And I'll Baton Pass. He swaps out into Ludicolo. There's a Protect on his Groudon. So this is actually a perfect turn. Into my Groudon with the Baton Pass. Knock off into Ludi. Perfect damage, Assault Vest, and his Psychic Terrain is still up, so I can just click Keyblade here. I'm going to cycle my Intimidate, and click Keyblade. Hopefully I can hit. Groudon, Ludicolo, both going down. I have plus two speed on this Groudon. Yeah, so once again, Scallopy just showing what it can do in this format, allowing Groudon to come in and sweep. I think that's all three games now I did that today, so that's really solid. I'll Poison Jab, not that it matters, and Fire Punch into the Mewtwo. We'll finish off this game. He says GG. I'll say GG. And that will be the end of this one. We're up to 1260 already. So that's a pretty good start to our uh, road to uh, the top. And uh, thanks for coming out to this one, guys. Thanks for watching.